intradermal injections. When we draw up the intradermal injection, we draw up, for example, tuber cell, and you saw that earlier when we draw out of a vial, it's the same thing. So once I have the medication drawn up out of the vial, I need to double check my dose one last time. My ordered dose says I need to give 0.1 mLs, 0.1 mLs intradermally to my patient. So once I have my medication ready, I'm ready to transition to my patient's room. I need to wash my hands. I need an alcohol wipe, gloves, and my injection. When I get into the room, now of course this is our inject pad, so it's not a real patient, but when you're with a real patient, you need to make sure that you check their armband for two patient identifiers. Have them spell their last name, their birth date, or something else. Because my hands are washed, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to alcohol off their skin. Now, the sites for an intradermal injection are the forearm, inner forearm, the upper chest, and in the, on the back, in the scapula region. I need to put on gloves before I do any injection. And this is a good thing to do while your alcohol is drying so that you don't rush and give an injection through wet alcohol, because if you do that, it will sting for your patient. Now, a few things with the intradermal injection. The important thing is that your needle bevel is up when you go in, and we're going to go in a few millimeters underneath the skin. I stabilize the needle like this with the syringe on top of my fingers, and I need to pull the skin taut on the patient's inner arm. So this is my patient's inner forearm. I go right next to where I want to inject, and I pull nice and taut. My bevel is up. I go just under the skin with the bevel of the needle just to cover the bevel, which is about two millimeters in. My angle is between 10 and 15 degrees. This hand is my stabilizing hand, so my left hand, or my non-dominant hand, is going to come behind, and I'm going to slowly inject over the course of three to five seconds. Now during that time on a real patient, you'll see the formation of a bleb under the skin. If you don't see that, you need to stop and look and see where your needle is. You may be in too deep, or if it's leaking out of the skin, you won't be in far enough. Once you have the bleb formation, you're going to come back and you're going to stabilize the skin, and you're going to make sure that you come out of the skin at the same angle that you went in at. You immediately do needle safety by covering it or whatever needle safety device there is. That goes back down, ready to go in the sharps container. You check your patient. Now remember, with these, you may not massage or rub the site because it will alter the absorption of the medication. Once you know your patient is okay, then your needle goes in the sharps container. Your gloves come off. You wash your hands. You document the procedure, and you leave the room. And that's intradermal injections.